Okay, today we've come to Izmailovsky. It's a huge market. It's only about 15 minutes by the underground, by the metro from the center of Moscow. Told there's all sorts of interesting things here. So let's go inside and see what there is. Izmailovsky these days is a very popular market where just about anything can be found, as well as having many interesting museums and tasty restaurants. The history goes back all the way to 1389, since the days of Ivan the Terrible. It was an estate of Boyers in the Romanov family, and in 1654 inherited by Alexis of Russia, who built a chateau on the artificial island around 1664. So come join me as together we take a look around this weird and wonderful place. So the first striking thing seems to be the architecture in here, really interesting designs. Probably to be expected here in the heart of winter in Moscow, there's lots of fur coats, fur hats and things like that. Everything here seems to have character, as you see here. There's different types of mold wine being made, but with these dragon-type faces on them. Fresh sweet corn being made there. Yeah, and an assortment of drinks pre-made and different types of confectionery for sale too. So many random shops here, you don't really know what you're going to find until you go inside of them. You can see this one, all kinds of stuffed animals, assuming that they're all real, but I'm not absolutely sure. But all kinds of things here, and bones too. But anything you can imagine buying, it seems as though you can find here. seems to be a real mixture of shops and then outdoor market spaces where some people are selling very expensive items and others sort of very cheap Ooh. things they seem to have found and trying to sell on. So structured as you see this is the art section. Huge area here. There's all different markets spread out all over the place. You really can spend an entire day looking around the place. And so I went over this bridge and through this tunnel and came to, I guess, a fairly central point and without doubt the most beautiful area of Izmailovsky Market, as you see here, beautiful old buildings, incredible architecture, just really like another world. It's amazing that this is just 15 minutes from the center of Moscow. Right, it's time to get some lunch, so we'll check this interesting place, looking out if we can navigate our way up these old stairs. menu here is in Russian and English, so shashlik grill, pelmeni, dumplings, reneki, reneki, and a bakery. So, looks like they got a lot of choice, and lots of bears. Mm -hmm. Well, this is looking interesting, we'll see what we find when we open the doors. Surprisingly, a much more modern restaurant on the inside. We went for shashlik barbecue, so 
as you see there, lamb and chicken, and of course, as a tradition, a bit of vodka. Uh, lamb, chicken, and vegetables. Now this was an incredible find. There's all sorts of shops in the central bit too. And this is a shop selling only candles. And it had an incredible variety in there, as you will see. It's like being in a different world walking around here. Seems like we've gone back in time. Certainly doesn't seem like Moscow. But we'll finish our lunch and we'll keep exploring. So after more walking around and exploring, there's this church right in the center of the square. So decided to go inside and have a look. Now at this time of year, of course, it's very icy and you can see the consequences of that Papa. right there. Yeah. Well done to the girl, she managed to hold on to her coffee and not spill any. This particular section seemed to be a real mash of stuff. It was really, you could say some of it was junk, but no doubt you could find some interesting things in amongst it all too. So for those people that really like getting their hands dirty in the market and seeing what's there, could be interesting for you. Look at that here, even a, what was it, a blackjack table, I think? Casino table. One thing that there were a lot of were watch shops here. Now, I'm sure some were fake, some were not fake. Um, yeah, many different ages, but if you're interested in watches, you can find an incredible variety here. We're in a Russian watch shop.
off to see in the central area and having some lunch, walk through the more sort of traditional market areas. You see there's matryoshkas, gloves, hats, coats, handmade things from wood, all different types of things. Perhaps people will be surprised to see this, but all over Russia you can find these kind of caricature t-shirts or things with Putin. People probably think that you're not allowed to do that, but it's very popular, all this sort of jokes on t-shirts. and Many people buy them, you see them for sale all over the place, as you see, some are in Russian language, some are in English. This final shop that I went into is an army store, I suppose you could say hunting also, but any type of military type gear that you might want, the guy seemed to be selling inside of here. So as you see guys, an absolute eclectic mix of things that you can find in this incredible market. It's very popular with tourists in the summer and I can see why, but you can also find very practical things that you may need, particularly clothing, for locals living here. So I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below and I'll be back with another video very soon.